this is a spindle spinning wheel and the way it's different from a uh, flyer wheel other than the obvious is that it allows you to spin yarn and then uh, wind yarn on to the cob and then spin yarn and then wind yarn onto the cob and you'll see um, it's very forgiving when you're drafting you can pull stuff out as much as you want you don't have to keep tension on the yarn itself and then when you're ready to spin on all you do is you go a half turn back to clear the spindle and then you go spin in the same direction and then you can start drafting again and uh, keep making your yarn it's very fast it's very easy to draft while you're doing it. Um, it's even, it's nice. Go backwards and then spin it on. And then you're coming off the tip here. You're just coming off the tip at an angle and that's why it's twisting off the end and spinning your yarn. And then when you go to a 45 degree angle or perpendicular, uh, so we go backwards to clear the tip, and then you're holding it perpendicular, and that's what's spinning it on. And then you're coming off of it in an angle again, and that's what's spinning the yarn. So you go backwards, get it out there, and then you're spinning more yarn. It's a very forgiving wheel, and it was so easy to make, but I did want to get some video up for you guys to see, so you could know what it was like in action. I love spinning on a spindle wheel. It is so much fun. We saw these first, uh, not these wheels, because uh, we kind of came up with this design on our own, but we did see spindle wheels in Ireland that uh, didn't have a foot pedal. They were more of a great wheel, and uh, the design was so basic and so straightforward that we knew we could do something like this. So that's why we came back and got started. We knew there was an inexpensive way to get people involved in the craft. And, uh, you know, that's what we've been working on, and I think we've done it. And here's the end of my uh, roving I had. And that's it. I hope you like it. And here's the wheel.